Today, I'm going to show you how to access your Home Assistant via HTTPS. Honestly, you really don't need secure connection when you're connecting it via locally. The only reason why I need it to be HTTPS is because I'm using an add-on that requires it. So if you're using something like asterisk add-on and it requires HTTPS, then follow this method to get your certificate signed locally. You'll never have your HA exposed to the internet at all. The first thing you're going to need is to open up a Linux machine. Unfortunately, you can't do this using Windows, or at least I don't think you can do it with using Windows. There's no way you can do this on your HA machine, even though it's a Linux machine. Here you can see I have Ubuntu installed on my Windows 10 machine. If you want to install Ubuntu on your Windows 10 machine, follow this YouTube link down below. First, let's install some software. We're going to need OpenSSL. So, sudo apt-get space install space OpenSSL to install OpenSSL. It's going to ask for your Windows password, so go ahead and enter it. I already have mine installed, so that's why you're seeing this. Next, let's install mkcert. So it's the same process as before, sudo space app get space install space mk search. And once again, I have mine already installed. Type in pwd to see where you are. You should be in your home user directory. Let's make a folder, mkdir space search. You can name whatever you want, but I'm naming mine as search, short for certificate. Next, jump to the folder that you just created. So it's cd space atilda slash search. Now we're in the cert directory. Type this command line in mk cert space home assistant space IP address of your home assistant. So this one right here is the host name of your home assistant. By default, it should be home assistant. And this part right here is the IP address that's on your local network. So for me, it's 192.168.1.229. You can see that it created two files. In Windows, if you go into this location, you should see the two files that it just created. So the address you can see on top is slash slash WSL dot localhost slash Ubuntu dash 22.04 slash home slash my name slash cert, the folder that we created. For simplicity, I'm going to rename this file. All we did was remove the plus one so that it would look much simpler. Next, in your Ubuntu, type in mkcert space minus c-a-r-o-o-t. Enter. Next, type in this command mkcert space dash install. The reason why you're seeing this already install error is because I already have my install. If you go into this directory in your Windows folder, then you should see it. It's slash slash wsl.localhost slash the Ubuntu slash home slash my username dot local slash share slash mk cert. These are the two files you need. In total, you need these four files that your Linux machine outputs. The first two files, you're going to upload them to your Home Assistant configuration folder. Here's mine. This is on the network. 192.168.1.229. My home assistant is installed onto a thin client using the HAOS. If your installation is different, then yours will be a little bit different, but it will look something similar. The easiest way for me is just drag the two files into this HA configuration folder. Next, go ahead and find your configuration.yaml file and open it with Notepad. Here you can see the HTTP colon. You'll need to insert the SSL certificate and the SSL key. This is the file that we created earlier from the Ubuntu, and here's the key that was created as well. After you added in these three lines, go ahead and save the configuration file, and then restart your Home Assistant. Here you can see I'm using PuTTY. I log in as myself. Type in this command, HA space core space restart to restart your Home Assistant machine. While it's restarting, let's go ahead and open Firefox up. Let's go into the settings. Go down to settings, go over to privacy and security, go all the way down to view certificates. Go to authorities tab, go down to import, and select this file, rootca.pem. Click on open, trust, trust, click OK, and click OK. If you're using Edge or Chrome, go ahead and go into the settings, and then go over into search for security. Click on manage certificates. Go ahead and click on import, click on next, 
find the certificate. It's going to be the root ca.pme file. Click on open. Next. Next. Finish. Do you want to install? Yes. Click OK. Click on close. So if all is good, this is what you should see when you open up your browser by entering HTTPS. If you enter the normal HTTP, it will not work. If for whatever reason you don't want HTTPS, go ahead and delete the three lines that you added it in and then save. Now, if you're using your tablet or phone, this is how you would import the certificate. Go ahead and go into settings and search for security. Go down to other security settings. Click on install from device storage. Click on CA certificate. Install anyway. Click on download. And select the root CA perm file. Done. Now go ahead and open the Home Assistant companion app. Click on the settings. Go into the connection and change it to HTTPS. And there you go. The app should open everything that you saw earlier in Firefox. Now, if you want to access remotely, there's no way TailScale will work with this method that you just did. The only way that you can control HA remotely now is using VPN. I'm sure there must be a way to use TailScale with this local certificate, but as of now, I have no idea. If you ever figure out a way to do it, please let me know. Please let everyone know. All right, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful on how to do your own local certificate. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching.